Hello and welcome to my Magic the Gathering practice make progress. Um, trying to decide what I wanted to do today. I was like, I actually have quite a bit like on my plate for uh, things I need to accomplish just in general for today um, with the projects that I have working on. So I was like, I, I wanted to do a draft for my next video um, that are in there, but I also kind of wanted to make sure I we had the chance to do some things, some things uh, for the day and. The last time I was able to play a draft, it took it took some time because you got to really kind of settle down and 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 um, you know look at the cards, identify what you want, and stuff like that. So I thought maybe I would go ahead and try building a deck instead, and then playing with that to clear some of my dailies because that is still one of those goals I want to be able to accomplish. So not a long not a long recording or anything like that, but I will do a draft at some point um, using the Bloombro set. I thought maybe I could try building a Bloomboro set deck, I should say, with the cards that I currently have uh, and see how that goes for me. Um, especially as I've kind of got an idea of the mechanics, though gifting still throws me for a loop, but I want to put some maybe in my deck to, I've, ha I've had, I've used it before, I'm just not entirely sure what happened when it happened. So I'm still learning some of these mechanics which kind of like flabbergasts me as to why they would release Duskmorn. I'm not even going to get into Duskmorn because one, I don't find the I don't find the set appealing to me, um, and two, I'm still learning I'm still learning Bloomboro. <laughs> so, so I'm going to leave Duskmorn House of Horror alone uh, for, I guess, eternity. I'll I'll have to deal with it if it comes up in a match, but that's really about it. I'm not going to try and just deal with that because I'm still in the process of trying to grow the Bloom Bro set, which I actually do enjoy. And I, I feel like the worst part about it is I feel like I haven't had a chance to really revel in it before they brought out this new set. So I'm like, eh, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to even deal with Simone the All-Questioning. I don't care. We're going to do Bloom Bro and we're going to enjoy it and have a good time with it. Um, so the next time I will do a draft when I have a little bit more of, a, of like a little more than an hour to do stuff. But today... We're going to switch into um, clearing um, clearing my dailies, of which have kill opponents, 15 creatures, um, and then green spells. So I thought maybe I should just try and see what kind of deck I have. I could feasibly use my Dynamite deck again because that has plenty of green spells in it. Um, but I thought maybe I could go ahead and play, or like build a deck and see what I've got with red green, oh, nope, red green by itself, and see if I have enough at the moment to build it. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, I, I, I don't know why alchemy is first. It's not, it's not. No, <laughs> it's standard. We're gonna do standard. <laughs> it's alphabetical. I get it, but it's like no. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to focus on red green buildings here and see if we have enough. I know in draft that we can cl we can keep the cards that we draft, um, and that will be great. I have plenty of draft tokens, so I can actually do multiple drafts and multiple videos of it to be in there. I want to do draft before Duskmorn, so Duskmorn comes out at the end of the month, so we're going to do, do at least I want to do at least two drafts before then. So that's the goal. That's the goal. But today, deck building and seeing what I do and seeing if I even have enough cards for it. Okay, so let's start with just building with what we have in Bloombro. So to do that, I'm just going to focus on Bloombro first and then we'll add to it as we go. So for the Bloombro set for red, my first thing is that I have... Um, actually, let me start with green because I need spells specifically. So let's see what greens we have as far as spells are concerned. I do like being able to just be instant, sorcery, enchantments. All right, so of the green spells, I have um, Cache Grab, which is mill four cards. You may put a permanent card among your um, the cards that way into your hand. If you control a squirrel or return a squirrel card to your hand, this way to create a food token. Overprotect gets... 3-3, three, three, gains trample, hexproof, and indestructible until end of turn. That's that's pretty crazy against any blue deck, or any deck for that matter. Paw patch formation, choose one, destroy a creature with targeting, destroy an enchantment, draw... Yeah, I'm taking that. 
I'm absolutely taking that. I have encountered far too many enchantments to not have destroy an enchantment in my deck. I may craft another one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Polywop. This, uh, 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 this spell cast less for one each frog you control. Target creature you control deal damage equal to twice its power to a target creature you don't control. Oh, wow. That is... That's wild. It's not even... Oh, it says to a target creature you don't control. That's still pretty powerful of a spell. I'll put it in. Um, I'd have to create kind of a frog deck around it. Which I... I don't think I've played the frogs that much except for that one event that they had for Midweek Madness. And, and I like the frog deck. But I'm very a big fan of the lizards. So I might have to play a draft just to gain more cards uh, from there and see what we have. Then we have the sorcery. De for the common good, create X tokens that are copies of a target token you control. I guess X is however many mana you spend. Then tokens you control gain indestructible till next turn. You give one each life for ooh. That could be really powerful too. Um, so I'm gonna keep one of those. Alright, we can see what we can oh well now let's see what frogs we even have. <laughs> uh, and then let's go back to creatures. And planeswalkers. And then let's see type in frog. And what frogs we actually do have. Okay. So all frogs currently green. All I have there. So I have the Mist Breath Elder, which is a frog warrior. At the beginning of your upkeep, return another creature you control to its owner's hand. If you do, put a counter on this. A 1-1 counter. Otherwise, you may return Mist Breath Elder's owner to its owner's hand. Yeah, I think I like that. I'll keep a couple of those. Um... Sunshower Druid. When it enters, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature, and you gain one life. Okay. I'm just going to max them for the moment. Sticky Tongue Sentinel. When it enters, it also has reach. Uh, target, return up to one... Oh my gosh, reading today is... <laughs> and the best part is I have to go to, I have to, go to the studio to so do some recording, so I'm like, eh... I can read. It's fine. When Sticky Tongue Sentinel enters, return up to one other target permanent you control to its owner's hand. Okay. I think I get it. And then Frog Rabbit. When Tree Guard Duo enters, until end of turn, target creature you control gains vigilance and gets XX, where X is the number of creatures you control. Yes, please. I'll take two of those. And this is um, Frog Advisor is a, a green blue, which I don't actually want to play. I want to make it red green um, today. I will. I will see how I can utilize that. I can be pretty good at returning creatures to my hand as necessary, but not as much. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going to use them that much. Okay, so with that, those are the frogs that I have available to me for my red green deck. Okay, so with that, let's go back to let's go back. Let's add in uh, artifacts and whatnot from this set and see what we have. Oh, it's still polywop. I'll put another. Since I need spells, I'll put another one there. Now that I have some frogs. I don't have enough frogs, I think, to warrant four. Two, I think I have enough. So if I keep Miss Breath Elder, the three shun shout, shun shout, shun, yep. Three sun shower, and a sticky tongue sentinel, that's six. And then two polo, nope, uh, two tree guard duos. Um, that's eight. I think that's enough to warrant two. Polywops as opposed to four. 
So it's going to take me a couple runs to get the um, green spells, unless I want to do green-white or green-blue. Uh, which, to be perfectly honest, I kind of don't. Not for my first build. Okay, so with that, let's go back. Um, let's go back to just all of it. Actually, let's check out what's Nox collected because I have a, I can craft some things. So let's do artifacts, magic cards, da, 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 for green spells specifically. Okay, I was like, um, hmm. Okay, where is that one? Innkeeper's Talon. I get hit with this, and it is awful. So I want it, and how do I craft it? <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's a terrible, I, and, and it's not, and like, I'm, I'm able to beat it. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not an impossible to beat card. It just really makes it harder to do it. So I want it. <laughs> I want it for my deck. Um, how do I craft? Oh, right. So I'm going to craft that one. See, I, I have plenty. I have plenty of crafting material. So I at least want to craft two. Because I think... Mm, no, just one. Just one for now. Yeah, then exit. Exit? Okay, cool. So now I have one of those. Come on, get out of crafting. <laughs> Oh, wait. I forgot. Collected. Go. Where is it? Added. I thought that it would just automatically add it. That is incorrect. Just want to tell. Okay, and then we have um, Giant Growth is not bad. I like the card. Also, it's got a cute, vicious doggy. Um, let's see... Yeah, so gifting a tapped fish. Um, I'm still confused because I've had this card, specifically this one, I believe, come at me. Like, it's been used against me. And, um, and, I'm, and I'm supposed to, I, I'm, apparently I'm supposed to get a token fish. So I have to put it in my deck just to try it, if that makes sense. But if I don't have any off the bat, I'm not going to, I don't know if I want to do it. Um, but I've got, I've gotten gifted cards and it's like, I don't understand on the receiving end what's supposed to happen. So I figured maybe I'm going to have to just do, use it in some way. Um, blah, 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 blah. maybe anyway, for this one, if gift a tapped fish, which is you promise an opponent a gift as you cast a spell. If you do, they create a tapped fish token before its other effects. So I gift the tapped fish if I choose to do so, apparently. And then you choose a target creature you control and a target creature you don't control. Put a target creature on the creature you control if the gift was promised. And that's the wording I don't really understand yet, even having even having received it and seen it in action, because. <laughs> Apparently you don't even like the last time I got gifted a fish and I got no token. So I was like, okay, so did you did it still did this did the thing still work? <laughs> you know, so I, yeah, forgive my ignorance. I know it sounds like I'm, you know, like oh that should be easy enough for me. I have not seen, understood, even having watched it, I just don't understand it. And I'm not dumb. I'm really not. <laughs> you know. Okay, do I want to craft one though? Probably end up getting one in that draft that I'm planning on doing. That being said, I like the idea of this one at the very least. Because, I mean, I can use that one. But this one seems like one that I should at least try to use. Because, like I said, destroying artifacts or enchantments, removal spells is something I don't use very often. And I think we should. Uh, let's see. I'm at 38 out of 60. Okay, when Heath's Harvest enters, you sacrifice it. You may search for a basic land, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle, gain three life, 
if I mana two and sacrifice. That's not too bad. Um, let's see. I want to tr Oh, that's for six. Yeah, we don't really go for six. I mean, I would use this one if I could muster up enough mana. That being said, I have been getting in the dino, in the dino deck that I have. <laughs> that's a lot of mana I get for <laughs> in it. I could feasibly cast this one. It would be absolutely, absolutely wrecking to get plus 20, 20. And it's on my to-do list to eventually use. Okay, so currently I have, just based on what I have now, um, eight creatures and Oh, it's a class enchantment. Just kidding. And uh, six. Spells. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I was reading what was in my hand. Okay. Let's go back. Let's remove the Bloombro set and see what other spells we just have in green. Um... <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't like Arachnoid Adaptation. I don't like that at all. Give you the Audacity, Enchant Creature. Let's go in the graveyard, draw a card. That's an instant domain. Target creature gets 1-1 one, one to end of turn for each basic land type you control. Okay. Let's see. Uh, get a leg up. No. Blow cap lantern. Equip creature has you may look at the top card of your library at any time. Whenever this creature attacks, it explores. I can equip it with two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? I have, mm, I'll keep it. Let's see. Artifact creature. Insect. Gross, but okay. Um... When it dies, you gain two life. If I sacrifice this artifact insect, uh, it exiles target non-creature or artifact or non-creature enchantment. That's not bad. Let's say rope. Nope. Let's see. Mill two cards. You may put a permanent from a you gain two life. I'll take that. Let's see, Bramble Familiar. Oh, look at the Bramble ro Raccoon. Uh, mill seven cards. Mm -mm, that's not bad. Trash the town. If I pay that plus these other ones, I get two 1-1 one, one counters. Or plus one, I gain Trample. Or plus one, until end of turn, which creature gains whenever this creature deals combat to a player, draw two cards. That's not bad. I like that, too. Okay, how many... If I add those cards, how many will I have? Six, eight. Let's go a couple more. Let's see. Treasure token. Shuffle snout. Palace at the return. If it attacks alone, I could stuff. Peerless Recycling, gift a card. Return a permanent from your hand, graveyard to your hand if the gift was promised, which this says. Uh, return two. I will try that one. I will try it. <laughs> Make no promises on it. Uh, how many instants do I have? I have seven instants, two sorceries. All right, let's see if I can find this sorcery. Oops, what am I doing? Here it is. Seven instances is a lot. I mean, they're good. They are good. Um, I 
I like the ones that have the elemental with the XX number of lands. That's pretty cool. But that would make this one plus five. Um, which is not a bad thing. It's kind of like Rumbling Rock Slide, which is a really handy spell for me. <laughs> Search your card for... Of the beanstalk. No. Cornucopia. Whenever you cast a spell that's one or more colors, you may gain a life of each of the for each of the spell's colors. Do this only once per turn. Meh. Case of the trampled garden. When it enters. Play, distribute two 1-1 one, one counters to solve creatures you control have a total of eight or more. When solved, whenever you attack, put a one... Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at this point, I should have... Way too many spells. <laughs> what I should have right now. Okay, cool. I have, any, I have a good amount of spells, I think, for that one. Let's go ahead and hit the craft all button. It's going to give me seven wild cards, two five. I mean, you got finished your deck. Thank you very much. Cool. So now let's go to my creatures. That's oh, right, not creatures. Let's go to my collected. And um, go back to Bloomboro because I believe I have lots of red for Bloomboro. And we'll add red colors. And we'll look for lizards. Hired Claw is my favorite. Yep. Kindle Spark Duo is great. What's, where is Geb? Where is he? Yes, Geb the Scaled Scorch. Other creatures you control enter with a 1-1 one, one counter on them for each opponent who lost life this turn. Whenever uh, you cast a Lizard spell, Geb's uh, deals one damage to the target. It's a good card to have in a lizard deck. <laughs> Let's see. Fire Spark Suitor enters with a 1-1 one, one counter on it if opponent has lost life this turn. Which we will see. I actually don't know. I'd have to have lots of... I'd, I'd have to see if I can find Shock for one. Let's see. Valley Flame Crawler. If a lizard, mouse, otter, or raccoon you control would deal damage... Uh, during a permanent player to a permanent or player it deals that much plus one which is great for two uh, let's see I like Kingdom Spark Duo Atelier of Hills Luna it gets trampled whenever it enters choose the target creature if that creature is powers two or less or if you control another lizard gain control of that creature till end of turn tap it and it gains haste All right, let's do, um, oh, no, 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 remove that. Creature kill. All right, so that's lizards. Let's check out all the other creatures that we have in this one. Let's see, we have, um, raccoon rallier. Target creature gains haste till end of control, activate only as a sorcery. There. A gate assault, yes please. Otter wizard. Whenever you cast a non-creature otter spell, you may up. Ah! No, 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 don't craft it. <laughs> Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Um, you may exile the top card of your library until the end of turn. You can play that card. Right. Mouse raccoon. Let's see. Whenever you expend four, meaning that you. Uh, Expend four as your fourth total mana cost to cast spells during a turn. It gets one one. Conduct electricity. Yes, please. Otter wizard. Alanya's pathmaker. Uh, whenever it enters, exile the top card of your library. You may play the card. Pile of Luna. Okay. I have four new cards. I have four cards that I have to put in there at some point. 
Um, let's see what we have in greens. Raccoon Berserker, X-Men 4. Squirrel, Hunter's Talent. Or down I got Squirrel Ranger. Offspring is pay an additional two as you cast a spell. If you do, you create a 1 1 copy of it. Let's see, this creature can't be blocked with anything with a power of two or less. I like that. Whoops. Let's see. Raccoon Lizard Frog deck. That is not one I was expecting to build. <laughs> As long as there are four or more card types with the card type exile with missing wait, wait, wait. As long as there are four or more card types among cards exiled with Key Knight Curator, it gets four four. Okay. Cache grab. Millfork Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button, sorry. <laughs> Mill four cards. You may put a permanent card from among your cards in your hand mill display. If you control a squirrel, which I don't, create a food token. Let's see. Let's see. I have Frog Warrior already. Rabbit Warrior. What do we got there? That is whenever a creature you control becomes a target, put a 1-1 one, one counter on someone other than that. Yeah, okay. I can play that one. Two more. Might have been me because I was like, eh, and Sora War Squeak. Um, when it enters, target creature can't, an opponent controls can't block this turn. It gets 1 1 and has haste. Okay, I like War Squeak. Let's see, Raccoon Rogue. It's such a raccoon. Whenever you expend 4, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw 2 cards. No, thank you. No, Raccoon Bard. I'll take Raccoon Bard. I wanna try him. I wanna try I wanna try um having him on the field and then sending out cards, because that's pretty cool. Okay. Um One day I'm going to make an Of Mice and Men card. For now, this is deck is going to be, for the sake of time, <laughs> this deck is going to be called um, Of Mice and Frogs. And Lizards. Because <laughs> I can. Let's check out the layout. My average card is about 2.4, which is where I usually like to stay. I have 20 creature cards, um, 9 instants, 3 sorceries, an artifact, an enchantment, and... Um, oh my god, I didn't check my lands! I didn't check what lands I had. Dude. Alright, first off, we can turn off the Bloomboro stat for this one, because we all lands should be available. Okay. Oakenhall Village. Let's see. Yeah, I should take Oak Oakhall Village for just for just that. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the forest. All right, now I put Oak Hollow Village. All right, then we have Hidden Volcano, Land Sphere. Twists and turns. Twists and turns is if your creature you control would explore, instead you scry, then that creature explores. When twists and turns enters, target creature you control explores. When a land you control enters, if you control seven or more lands, transform to mycoid maze land cave. Well, you know what? I kind of want to know what that card does. So here we are. Mm -mm -mm. Discover is to exile the card from your library. If you exile non-land card with environment value 4 or less, you may cast without paying its mana cost. 
Stop putting your hands at the rest in the bottom line below. Okay, the bottom line below that. And this one is draw a card. We're switching turns. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? Oh, it's an enchantment first. Then it turns into a land. How interesting. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. I want to go ahead then. I'm going to move this one mountain and add Autonomous Furnace. No, I'm not. I'm going to add a mountain back. Okay, let's go with... I have too many variables to try already right off the bat. All right, so that is of mice and lizards, of mice and frogs and lizards deck. Let's change that. Something I did went wrong. Where is it? I put Gev in there and didn't even think that it's a red-black. I remember thinking to myself, I was like, yes, I want that. And I wanted to create a red-black deck, but that's not what I wanted to do today. I, I was like, why do I have a three-color? <laughs> remove that. Let's see, there's my trusty shock spell. I guess I've gotten used to building commander decks that 60 cards suddenly feel really, really funky. <laughs> Electricity is that. No, let me remove one and put two. I've used this card before. Weirdly enough, it somehow works. Sometimes. There's that one that's like a flip a coin kind of thing too. It's, or something else. Yeah. Anyway. I have the Kim Card Zoo already. I remember my dwarf deck. My dwarf deck was great. What artifacts do I have available to me? Oh yeah, I got the food night. I want. <laughs> I wanted to have it in another. Not this deck, because I don't think the deck's built for it. But I wanted to throw gingerbread just so I could constantly sing like. Shrek the Musical. No other reason. Not because it's a good card. Just to be able to sing for you know, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I think I like the Oasis Gardener. Maybe. Oh, the gingerbread. Gingerbread's a good one, too. Let's see.
artifact dog with seven health to reveal to two. That's a nice, like, what's the word? Quick solution one. What I need to do is craft those mounts that I had that I was using in the last um, the last video I have. The mounts are great. I might actually have something that can stand up against Drake against Drake's uh, vehicle decks. Equip detective. Okay, I that I haven't even seen that one before yet. <laughs> Alright, well this one is two untapped tokens you control becomes an artifact on end of turn. So this isn't quite the vehicle I understand it to be. Oh yeah, let's go back to the other one. Red green, what do we got? I might put another shock spell to be perfectly honest. Um Yeah, I think that's probably what I will do. It deals five damage against anyone who's white or blue. Sure, let's see what happens. Let's go for it. Let's do it. <laughs> let, let us see how it goes. All right, let's 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 see if my deck works. So I'm going to play a... I, I do not know why it assumes that I'm going to play... alchemy all the time. It's like, you want to play alchemy, right? I'm like, no. I never asked for alchemy. I will never ask for alchemy. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, don't edit. I'm already done. We're done. We've edited. I'm going to play standard. Alright, let's see what we come up with. Okay, so my usual instinct is if I have no, if I don't have anything I can play in the first two, any creatures I can play in the first two turns, I'm not going to do very well. That being said, I have one, but I have a bunch of sorceries and instincts. I'm going to mulligan. Did I keep a swamp? Oh <laughs> Well Well let's mulligan that one. Alright, we have a shower druid and we have Kindle Spark. Let's keep six and then we'll fix this mistake when I come back to it. O M frickin' goose egg. Creature control would explore, scry instead, quick return, enter, target creature will explore. So I'm gonna wait for all of that. Alright, I could, but. Now I need a red um, mana, otherwise we are going to be mildly stuck. Oh, I like that better than proliferating.
this is great for nobody at the moment. Sunshine Dew is good, but it's really only good if there's already creatures in play, which I don't have, because I don't have any red mana. Where is it? I know. Corrupted. When it becomes tapped, each opponent who has three or more poison counters loses a life. Got it. I'm about to, like, hand out at this point. This is the longest that I've seen no monsters on the field. <laughs> Just a game of chicken. Yeah, he's gonna keep accumulating plants. <laughs> cards in my hand. Yeah, I'm about to go one more and see what we can draw. You only need to discard down to seven at the end of the turn. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Now that I real, uh, for some reason I don't know why I misread that. So now I have to remember that it can apply to its uh, itself if it's the only creature. That's okay. Watch it get more again. Yeah, done. Let's do that. I gotta remember that it does that to itself. Um, so I've let too many times go by, but I think it'll be alright. We've got a lot of just straight up special land. I had a guy as might because he was gonna try to take out my card with a, what's it called? a 1-1, one, one. so I was able to make it a 5 health card so it wouldn't die, because <laughs> I need to keep at least one card on the field, and I'm okay with them losing that one. <laughs> Yay! Alright, so we can actually offspring, because we have, we have that option to us. I still have no red mana. I am doing this with three mana now. I did, I don't know why I won. Yeah, I did, that was fun. That's kind of weird. I feel like you would have had me on the ropes in the next turn or so. 
It's not like I did anything particularly weird except for waste like four turns. <laughs> but as Drake would always say, take the win, Katara, take the win. Alright, but I did get some coin. How's my master pass going? I think I gained Yep, up to eleven, so I'm good. I guess uh, I have time for one more match, I guess, because I just need two more of this, and then I can at least get this one out of the way. Alright, so remember, the, def the zero 2 card that I put in there, that frog, um, it can counter itself. I gotta remember that. I wonder if people just assume that I'm an amateur and they're like, I don't feel like dealing with that. I'm like, yeah. Oh my god, I totally forgot to get rid of that card. <laughs> okay, hold on. I I'm we're gonna make this work somehow. At this point, pass down. Okay, so it is to someone else's edging. I just wanted to make sure, like, at the beginning of your upkeep, return another creature you control to its owner's hand. There it is. So now, the worst part about it is I can. <laughs> I can play it as just any card, and it will count, I think. Now, we're, we're gonna go what happens if I have one random mana card. Oh my god, Drake is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see, I gotta keep that one. I'm hoping they pull out an enchantment of some sort, and then I can be like, yeah, I will do this.
Elder is terrifying. <laughs> Mistbreath Elder along with Sunshower Druid? Holy mackerel, that's no joke. Like, my goodness. I know, really, my goodness. That was silly of me. I don't know why I did that. Let's see. Whenever rampaging... It will get trampled. So it will... Ah, ah, ah. Mouth out. Go team, go team, go. Apologies for my bird. My bird wants attention. I guess we'll put out a cage. case before yet, so I'm curious to see how this will go. Is it my turn? No, no, he's just taking his time out. I mean, this would have this would have been absolutely terrifying if I had um, what's it called? <laughs> if I had this the last in the last turn. <laughs> Before I took out my one my my one seven seven mistbreaker guy. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they glitched out. Can't imagine it takes that long to read. Sometimes MTG has a thing where it like it doesn't you know, internet does weird things or something like that. I've I've had the thing where We'll be in the middle of a match and then the game freezes or crashes and stuff. I'm like, no! Okay, distribute 1-1 one, one counters. The answer is no, I cannot do it like that. Okay, and then I 
guess I will go ahead and mill. Uh, let's see. You may put a permanent into your hand. You gain two life. And now let's, um, minus you, because you're zero. Let's all attack. I should get the next spell in there just in case. <laughs> just in case. I have a feeling I'm probably going to play out this game one sidedly. So I almost gave it back to my buddy. Like I said, I just need, ultimately the goal is to clear some dailies. So I just need enough time to be able to just cast some spells. That's all I need to do. As you can tell, I have gone on with this video for far too long. <laughs> According to the bird. I didn't get to cast that one more spell. It's fine. I got one of the dailies out of the way, I think, with this one. Alright. I was gonna say, I was like, I did, right? Where is it? Oh, look, I have six more spells I could cast. I'm like, oh, maybe I should do one more match. <laughs> um... No, I think, I think my attention is demanded elsewhere. And like I said, I have other things I need to do today. So yeah, I will be able to clear this out with the deck just fine. Um, let's see. I think that pretty much, yep, move this to two. One more. So what I will do here is I will go open uh, those two packs right there. So the last thing we'll do is open up this Bloomborough pack and see what we got. So we got Rabid Gnaw, Take Out the Trash, Stain Path Charger, Splash Portal, very nice, very nice, and for my rare, I got Salvation Swan, which is Flash and Flying. Whenever Salvation Swan or another bird you control enters, exile it to one target creature you control without flying. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it at the beginning of the next step. But I think I like discovering that that Mist Breath Elder and the <laughs> the Mist Breath Elder and the Zero Two Frog, and like having the mission combination with each other is terrifying. I just have Mist Breath, and then at the beginning of my next step, I put it back, and then I recast it, and I put another counter on my Mist Breath, and suddenly I have a seven seven creature. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> so discovering things like that is always the best part about it, right? Alright, so with that, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, yeah, and next time, I think I'm going to try to set aside time in my in my busy schedule to do... Um, to do... I'm going to try to do this. The Premier Draft, uh, draft here, because like I said, I have Draft Token. But we also have the... Um, this one here, which is just the Quick Draft, because as you can see, I have 5,000 gold. Uh, and... I could probably see if I could do that. So maybe I'll do both. Like I said, I, my goal is before the before the Dusk Morn comes out um, to get at least two drafts in there of the Bloomborough stack and see what we can construct from those cards that we get. So, yep, that's all there is to it. So thank you all. I look forward to doing another video for you. And uh, as always, stay safe and have a great rest of your whatever. Week, day, year, life. Have a good one, everyone.